हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल शाह सर क्लासेस एंड एवर शाइन कोचिंग सेंटर आई एम शाह सर हियर माई डे स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास टेन साइंस केमिस्ट्री केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड इक्वेशंस नाउ इन दिस मॉड्यूल वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज केमिकल रिएक्शन ओके as we know that most of the substances around us undergoes various changes some are called as some are called as physical change and some of them we call it as chemical change let me see a few examples to see or to check how the chemical reaction takes place introduction when the milk is left at room temperature during summer so this is before and this is after and iron tower pan or nail is left exposed to humid atmosphere as you can see this is the iron tower before exposing to the atmosphere and this is after it is exposed to atmosphere ye pehle jaisa hai aur thode din ke baad ye aisa ho gaya hai to aap compare kar sakte hain isme kya ho raha hai kuch changes dikhai de raha hai good grapes get fermented when the food is cooked and food get digested in our body we respire in all the situations we have seen the initial substances doesn't remain same after some time isn't it jo bhi substances ab hame isme dekhe the इसके अंदर जिस तरह से वो पहले थे थोड़े दिन के बाद वो उस तरह से नहीं है कुछ उनमें चेंजेस हम देख सकते हैं सो वेन एवर ए केमिकल चेंज अकर्स वी कैन से दैट ए केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज टेकन प्लेस एंड लेट वी हैव लेट वी परफॉर्म स्टिल मोर एक्टिविटीज टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डिटरमाइन वेदर द केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज टेकन प्लेस before conducting this activity it's a very important caution please take the advice of your teachers to perform any of these experiments first we have taken a magnesium ribbon of about 2 cm long and rubbing it with sandpaper hold it with a pair of tongs as we can see here this is a bunsen burner this is a glass and this is called as tong and this is the magnesium ribbon okay and now we can see the state of the magnesium ribbon it is in the solid state we are holding with a pair of tongs magnesium ribbon burns and burner and we have ignited the flame bring the magnesium ribbon near the flame as we can see it is burning with a white dazzling flame and this is the watch glass now collect the ashes which is produced after burning in the watch glass magnesium ribbon ko jab jala raha ja raha hai to aap dekh sakte hain jab wo burn ho raha hai to ek white color ka dazzling flame produce ho raha hai usme isn't it ha ab wo magnesium ribbon burn hone ke baad wo powder ke form mein convert ho raha hai जिस तरह का स्टेट पहले था अभी उस तरह का स्टेट इधर पे नहीं है सो वॉट यू ऑब्जर्व वी कैन से दैट द व्हाइट पाउडर विच इज प्रोड्यूस्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड कंक्लूजन एज वी हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट मैग्नीशियम रिबर्न बर्न विथ व्हाइट डार्जिलिंग फ्लेम इट चेंजेस इन टू व्हाइट पाउडर दिस व्हाइट पाउडर इज कॉल्ड एज मैग्नीशियम ऑक्साइड hope the concept is clear good now what are the possible questions from this activity the question please jot down this point what happens when magnesium ribbon burns in air what happens when magnesium ribbon burns in the presence of air here air means oxygen name the product formed 
name the product formed and write the nature of the product now what is the nature of the product the nature of the product is first point it is in a white powder form it is a white powder form and second thing is it has produced with a white dazzling flame while it was burning we can see a white dazzling flame and the product it is in the powder form so the nature of the product is it is in a white powder form good now let me perform one more activity we have taken a test tube we have taken a beaker in this test tube we have taken a sample of potassium iodide in this big test tube we have taken a sample of lead nitrate solution हम ये इसको हम बोलते हैं बीकर इसको बोलते हैं टेस्ट ट्यूब नो दिस इज अ ट्राइपोड स्ट्रैंड द इट इज ए टेस्ट ट्यूब होल्डर ओके एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज ए ड्रॉपर तो इस टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर पोटेशियम आयोडाइड है और ये बीकर के अंदर पोटेशियम आयोडाइड है और ये टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर लेड नेट्रेट सोल्यूशन है ओके नाउ वी आर टेकिंग ए फ्यू ड्रॉप्स अ सैम्पल ऑफ पोटेशियम आयोडाइड एंड वी आर मिक्सिंग दिस विथ लेड नाइट्रेट सोल्यूशन आप इधर पे देख सकते हैं यू कैन ऑब्जर्व यूर वंस इफ दिस बोथ गेट रिएक्टेड पोटेशियम आयोडाइड एंड लेड नाइट्रेट सोल्यूशन वेन दिस बोथ वेन दे आर रिएक्टिंग विथ ईच अदर दिस इज ए चेंज इन कलर वॉट डू यू ऑब्जर्व दर इज ए चेंज इन द कलर सो वॉट इज द कलर दैट इज ए लो कलर प्रेसिपिटेट ऑफ लेड आयोडाइड इज फॉर्म्ड वेन पोटेशियम आयोडाइड कंबाइंस विथ लेड नाइट्रेट सोल्यूशन और वेन इट रिएक्ट विथ लेड नाइट्रेट सोल्यूशन The product formed is lead iodide. What is the product? Lead iodide. Lead iodide will be the product, and and remember this lead iodide and potassium nitrate. So when these both react with each other, now here the color is lead iodide and that is in yellow color. So my dear student, this is one of the very important chemical reaction which you can expect to balance it and also to write the change in the color. so please make a note of this make a note of the question regarding this activity write a balanced chemical reaction write a balanced chemical reaction when when potassium iodide when potassium iodide reacts with lead nitrate solution reacts with lead nitrate solution this is a first possible question and then the second possible question based on this activity name the color name the color of the product formed name the color of the product formed when potassium iodide when potassium iodide reacts with lead nitrate solution reacts with lead nitrate solution now we are performing one more activity in this activity again we have taken a beaker and we have taken a conical flask now i am just inserting a few drops of zinc granules these are called as granules small pieces of zinc this is the zinc granules and in one beaker we have taken a dilute sulfuric acid h2so4 so this is a molecular formula of sulfuric acid we have taken a dilute now what do you mean by dilute here here we have two types of solutions one is called as dilute solution and the other one we call it as concentrated solution now you may get a doubt okay so what is the difference between dilute solution and concentrated solution now what is the major difference among these both very simple in concentrated solution the quantity of water will be less in dilute solution the quantity of the water will remains more so this is the major difference between dilute and concentrated in dilute the quantity of water will be more in concentrated the quantity of water will be less so dilute solution preferably it is less reactive but concentrated solution will be more reactive okay anyhow we'll be discussing about these topics in our future further classes in the next most probably in the next chapter 
acid bases and salts now here as we can see here we have taken a dilute sulfuric acid and we have taken zinc granules now i am going to take a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid i am going to put this in a conical flask as you can see here when dilute sulfuric acid is mixed with uh, when it is reacting with zinc granules now to perform this activity i am adding still more sample i have closed this with a cork we have i have closed this with a cork and i have taken a glass tube inside this i have inserted a glass tube okay why because as you can see here when sulfuric acid react with zinc granules that is zinc when zinc react with sulfuric acid there is a evolution of the gas now as we can see here there is a gas is produced the bubbles of hydrogen gas is produced so i am um uh, as we can see here there is the evolution of the gas of hydrogen now what is the conclusion when zinc react with sulfuric acid there is the evolution of the gas and heat is given out and also we can see here there is a change in temperature and also the change of state now from these all three activities we can say that what did we observe yes we have observed that there is a chemical reaction has taken place now this is one of the very important question for your examination point of view the possible question will be in such a way how do you determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place please make make down this uh, take down this question how do you determine whether a chemical reaction has taken place or name the indicators which indicates or uh, which determines a chemical reaction name the indicators which determines whether a chemical reaction has taken place that is if there is a change in state either it is changing with solid to liquid or liquid to gas or gas to liquid or liquid to solid any of these possibilities okay if there is a change in state change in color evolution of gas change in temperature and formation of precipitate in either of these following cases if any case satisfies we can say that there is a chemical reaction has taken place i hope you can understand agar se aapko question pucha gaya aap kis tarah se jaan payenge ki chemical reaction hua hai ya nahi hua hai to aap kis basis ke upar kis aadhar ke upar aap uska uttar de sakte hain uska answer de sakte hain agar se usme state change ho raha hai ya uska color change ho raha hai usme se gas form ho rahe hai ya temperature के अंदर कुछ वेरिएशंस आपको दिख रहा है या उसके अंदर प्रेसिपिटेट फॉर्म हो रहा है तो हम उसको क्या बोलते हैं केमिकल रिएक्शन हैज टेकन प्लेस सो नाउ दिस इज द एंड ऑफ मॉड्यूल वन आई होप द क्लास इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इफ यू वांट टू वॉच स्टिल मोर सेशंस और इफ यू वांट टू कंटिन्यू विद दिस चैप्टर विद द मॉड्यूल टू यू कैन कम बैक एंड ज्वाइन विथ अस इन मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम होप सो द क्लास इज इंटरेस्टिंग wish you all the best of luck if you like this video do not forget to like uh click like button comment share and subscribe take care all the best